Hello, this is Samson Loop Channel. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, today I'll be talking on schools that are have scholarships, full scholarships for 2022-2023 section. And some of them don't even require GRE as a requirement for studying in their schools. Come along with me if you're interested in this gist. Okay, so I have done a video on GRE and IELTS as one of the uh, very important requirements for studying in the United States and of course in um, Canada as well some of these are the requirements but then today I want to I have good news for you for those of you who reached out to me and wanted me to do a video on scholarships here is your chance so we have um, fully funded scholarships in the United States and I'll be reading out some of these schools make sure you do your search look into them and see how you can comment because a lot of things are involved when it comes to studying in the United States number one different places um, requirements of schools differ but they are cutting a few steps for you if GRE is not required and also if you're getting fully fund I mean you're, you're getting a fully funded program that is huge because that means things are settled for you. You one step closer to achieving your dreams and your goals. And I'm happy for you. Okay, so here is the list of schools. The first school I'll be talking about is University of Southern California. And right now, they don't need you to write GRE. You don't need GRE for a master's program in Southern California. Isn't that good news? So you may want to look into this school. And um, it's, an, it's one of the very oldest schools in the um, United States, but the acceptance rate is low for this school. Of course, I'll be telling you other schools that have high acceptance rates. And I hope you check out these schools and see what works for you, where you want to be. And um, I pray it all works out. Now, the second university is University Boston University, and they too are waving GRE for those who will be studying in 2022-2023 and they have a low acceptance rate of 20.1 as well but it's not low low it doesn't mean you can try you know and um they, because the school is really selective um they have be in mind that all of these schools that i'm talking about you still have uh, to pay application fee because i know somebody has asked me where i think somebody reached out and it was like it feels like um uh, he, he would be happy if he gets a place where everything is waived, even to the scholarship, I mean, the um, application fee and probably the flight down from his country down here. And I'm like, no, you still have to make, pull your own weight. You know, there are few things you have to do. For instance, some of these schools have just $80 application fee. These are some of the things you have to do for yourself. You know pull your wits and i pray it gets easier for you third university you should be looking at is university of florida and they they too are waiving gre requirements due to covid 19 situation the application fee is very low for university of florida just 30 dollars and they have a better um acceptance rate when i mean acceptance rate i mean how many people come how many or the rates or the percentage of people that apply how many of them are admitted so for them their acceptance rate is 37 percent that's close to 40 that's better way better than the first two schools that i've talked about and you want to look at university of pittsburgh they have scholarships too fully funded scholarship and they don't need you don't need gre for their uh, programs for uh, and they accept international students as well they have a really high acceptance rate they have 63.9 percent acceptance rate if you were me i'll be looking at this school yes of course there are other factors you should consider but if i were you i will be looking at this school and their um, application rate is 55 just 55 dollars i mean maybe not just but you know what i mean is still bearable so you want to look at that school too um they have various programs that you want to look at um they have other scholarships that's another thing you should know there are many scholarships in even in schools by the time you 
coming and even on a fully funded program there are still some scholarships you can get i remember my husband when he was doing his phd program he still had some scholarships that he was given after he applied of course you apply for some of those scholarships based on merits based on good gpa different ways you are pulled into um the draw and then if you get lucky you get this scholarship so it's very important for you to look at some of these things when you get into the school you start looking for opportunities a lot of opportunities and most times these things will help cover for everything talk about tuition talk about um i mean whatever part of your tuition that of course if you have a fully funded program you don't have to worry about tuition but there are some extra costs like maybe bus fare um book use um fee for using the bookshop using the library computers in schools some few little little little, little um charges that it give you aside your tuition if you get lucky to have some of these scholarships they just go for that they cover them and you don't have to pay for anything i mean pretty much of course but like i said you have to really do your research but beyond that be encouraged to look into these schools and make sure you start to eat it off i'll be giving some tips on how you can succeed look out for that for that video on how you can succeed when you eat the ground how you can hit the ground running as soon as you land in the united states or in canada how you can set yourself apart for you can brand yourself tips on how to make it how to do it but yes let's go through this phase first and get you started on applying for your schools for the uh, I, and um the fifth school i'll be considering is university of oklahoma my dear this school is one of the schools that have the highest application i mean um acceptance rate 83.4 percent if i knew about this school, maybe i would have gone there myself now they have diverse courses like architecture aerospace engineering environmental studies it is i even remember i have a friend that went to this school and most of her um, undergrad studies was funded like funded she's an international student from nigeria and most of these things were funded and i think she even said she she got a really good amount for a master's program so please look at check out these schools yeah i pray you get lucky and get picked and guess what the application fee is very low 40 dollars yes next we have kansas state university this is also a school that has a lot of <laughs> master's degree program they said more than 65 you can imagine that is huge i'm sure you will see something something that relates to what you want to study there so look into kansas state university they have scholarships the application fee is $75, but they have the high, very high acceptance rate, 88%. Guys, that is close to 90%. You want to look at these schools because you want you don't want to waste your application fund, application money, and all of those things. And they have all the scholarship, yeah, um, scholarships that you can look into, continuing student scholarships and future student scholarship award. Also, the next school will be University of Nebraska. In um, they have Lincoln scholarships, and the acceptance is seventy-seven point seven percent. They have things you can look at different programs like law if you're interested in law and all of those things. And they are waving GRE guys. Look at these schools. The application fee is just forty-five dollars, and they have other scholarships that you can look into when you get into the school. We have the next one, Sonoma State University scholarships and where is this the acceptance rate is almost 90 percent that means 90 percent about 90 percent of those who apply get funded that is nine out of ten i mean get get um admitted that's like nine out of ten guys you want to look at these schools this should be your top priority schools that you're looking at first before other schools because you know that your chances of getting in are, is higher don't be like me i wasted three different applications of money last year trying to get in into phd of course there's, there are a lot of stories around mine but yeah that's it make sure that's why i'm trying to make this easier for you look at these schools the application fee is 70 dollars and the acceptance rate is 92 percent they have different courses you can look into theater dance music scholarships um csu 
future scholarships, summer session athletic awards. And we have the ninth one Park University scholarships. Look at this school, I mean, this school online. They have application fee of just $35. Students enrolled in their master's program don't need GRE, like I've said the other time. So please make sure, and they, they have lots like all the scholarships that you can look into when you get into the school. So please just get started on that application. Get started on looking at these schools and do what works for you. Number 10 is National University Scholarships. You want to look at um, is San Diego is a private university and they have GRE waived. They have different programs too. The application fee is just $60. The acceptance fee is 9.4%. You want to look at this school and scholarships are given. There is no condition. You don't have to write GRE according to them. And they have lots of other opportunities you can look into. Also, Adelphi University scholarships. Um, look into that school too. Um, they have application. Their application fee is just forty dollars, and you have they have acceptance rate of seventy five percent. Look at these schools. Look at Antioch University. Application fee is fifty dollars, and acceptance rate of eighty five percent. They have other scholarships you can look into. Look at Baylor University as well, guys. Baylor University has um, acceptance rate of 39%. I mean, application fee is zero. You don't need to apply. I mean, you don't. You need to apply, but you don't need to pay anything a dime for application. So you want to look at this school, you know. They are so generous. <laughs> yeah, I pretty getting. Though, like, four out of ten people are admitted. Also, Northeastern Illinois University, they don't require GRE, guys. Look at these schools and the application fee is just $30. You want to look at them, look at, they have other, um, um, they have other scholarship programs that you can look at. Also, Colorado Technical University scholarships, they have 100% acceptance. How is that possible? This is the first school you should even look at Colorado Technical University scholarships, and they don't have restriction of GRE, they don't have requirements that you have to write GRE before for admission, and also you don't need to pay any money. Can you imagine that has constructed some of the things I've said in earlier in this video? Yeah, guys, look at these schools, please, and take full um control of all the opportunities you can get get these opportunities and explore them yeah please and um, the acceptance rate is 100 percent. that is really really that blows my mind i'm going to <laughs> send this to personally some people too um you have emporia state university to application fee is zero dollars you don't need to pay and the acceptance rate is 85 percent you can also apply for graduate school scholarships without gre Frostburg State University scholarships, they pay $45 for their um, application, but the acceptance rate is 74%, guys, look into Frostburg State University. So there, these are lists, the list, it goes on and on. If you um, have any questions or you for further clarification, I'm going to link this article in the comments or rather in the description. So just click on the description and I'll try to put it in my the first comments in case for those who are having a hard time getting it in the description. You see this, you see this um a link or the link to this article to the article that I'm ref referencing so that you can look at them. If you have any questions, look at them and please share this video. If you have people, let me tell you the truth. If you share this video, it's only going to help people. Don't think, oh, I want to do it. I, I want to get in first or whatever. So share. Feel free to share, guys. Okay? Thank you for watching. Remember, this is Samsung's channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you still have questions for me after, from maybe on this article that I've read out on the video that I've made on scholarships, please let me know. Feel free to write in the comment section. I will address your questions. Okay? reach out and um let me know how this helps if this is helpful to please give me feedback let me know how this is helpful to you thank you don't forget to like share and subscribe bye